Welcome to the riveting world of 12 O'Clock High, the 1964 TV series that takes you straight into the high-stakes drama of World War II aviation. Starring classic Hollywood actors, the show provides a gritty look into the challenges faced by bomber crews in the 8th Air Force. Ever wondered which classic Hollywood actor in this series became your favorite? The ensemble cast delivers powerful performances, keeping you hooked from one episode to the next. As you dive into the series, be prepared for a roller coaster of emotions, funny moments that catch you off guard, shocking twists that leave you wide eyed, and heart wrenching scenes that tug at your emotions. Now, here's a question for you who stole the show for you among these classic Hollywood stars. As you watch, keep an eye out for the many surprising and sometimes poignant facts woven into the storyline. These details add layers to the characters and events, making the series a memorable experience. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this TV series? We'd love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Share your thoughts and connect with fellow fans who appreciate the timeless appeal of 12 O'Clock High. So buckle up for an adventure through the skies, where every episode promises a blend of intensity, camaraderie, and the unpredictable nature of war. Get ready for a journey filled with classic Hollywood charm and wartime grit. Stay tuned as there are many more funny, shocking, and sad facts coming up. Keep watching and don't forget to share your thoughts with us. The TV series 12 O'Clock High offers a gripping portrayal of the 8th United States Army Air Forces during World War II in Europe. Seen through the eyes of a young war bird enthusiast, it accurately depicts the challenges faced by bomber commanders convincingly portrayed by Robert Lansing and Paul Burke. The story goes beyond aerial action, exploring the personal struggles of pilots and crews against the backdrop of war. The series seamlessly incorporates real-world War II footage, adding authenticity to the portrayal of the powerful 8th US AF bombers and fighters based in England. Beyond the skies, characters grapple not only with mission demands, but also with profound personal dilemmas that come with wartime service. The narratives extend beyond the cockpit, shedding light on the fates of pilots and crews shot down, evading capture, or facing enemy imprisonment. Despite its merits, the show's premature end is attributed to waning public interest amid the escalating Vietnam War. It was a missed opportunity as the series could have continued highlighting the invaluable efforts of pilots, crews, and planes crucial in ending Nazi Germany's campaign. Reflecting on it, the series serves as a reminder of the complex and sacrificial nature of war, offering viewers insight into the horrors faced by the fighting forces. In a broader sense, 12 O'Clock High stands as a reminder of the challenges and realities inherent in armed conflict. It prompts contemplation on the need for narratives, exploring the reasons behind wars, emphasizing understanding the various aspects of wartime experiences. In conclusion, the show remains noteworthy, going beyond conventional war drama, reflecting on the human condition within historical events. It provides viewers with a nuanced perspective on the struggles, sacrifices, and triumphs of those involved in the war effort. 12 O'Clock High, a TV series that delves into the intense world of World War II aviation, features notable details that add depth to its narrative. Robert Dornan, known for his role as Captain Robert Fowler, Colonel Gallagher's frequent co-pilot, brought authenticity to his character as an S Air Force fighter pilot. Interestingly, Dornan continued his service with the California Air National Guard while acting in the series. His later political career earned him the nickname B-1 Bob due to his staunch support for the Air Force's acquisition of the B-1 Lancer Heavy Bomber. Within the series, a significant leadership change occurs as Frank Savage takes over from Keith Davenport as the commander of the 918th. The show, however, remains silent on the reasons behind this pivotal shift, leaving viewers to speculate on the dynamics and decisions that led to the change in command. The quest for sponsors led the producers to approach Volkswagen executives, showcasing a pilot episode featuring actual wartime bombing footage. A surprising twist unfolded during the screening when one executive recognized the targeted plant as Volkswagens, which had manufactured cars for the German army. The revelation led the executives to withdraw sponsorship, illustrating the unpredictable challenges faced even in the attempt to secure financial support for the series. As the series immerses viewers in the world of 8th Air Force bomber commanders, it seamlessly weaves in authentic World War II footage, portraying the challenges faced by pilots and crews stationed in England. 
The narratives extend beyond the aerial battleground, exploring the personal struggles of the characters against the backdrop of war. Despite its merits, the premature end of the show is attributed to waning public interest, a missed opportunity to continue highlighting the crucial role played by pilots, crews, and planes in ending Nazi Germany's campaign. 12 o'clock high serves as a poignant reminder of the complexities and sacrifices inherent in armed conflict. It prompts contemplation on the need for narratives that delve into the reasons behind wars, fostering understanding of the various aspects of wartime experiences. In conclusion, the series offers a nuanced perspective on the struggles, sacrifices, and triumphs of those involved in the war effort. In the early episodes, Brigadier General Frank Savage sported a standard a two-leather flight jacket, its collar points rounded, and general stars adorning the epaulette straps. This evolved later into a jacket with sharper collar points, stars positioned in the middle of the epaulettes, a cigarette pouch on the left arm, and expansion gussets at the rear of each shoulder. In the season one episode, Golden Boy had nine black sheep. General Savage's friend, General Wiley Crow, reflects on Savage's personality, noting, that's one of the most interesting parts of your personality, Frank. No one can have a mere meeting with you. It always has to be a collision. The title 12 o'clock high carries a specific meaning in the context of this series. During World War II, Allied pilots would use clock references to indicate the position of enemy aircraft. 12 o'clock denoted directly ahead, while 6 o'clock meant directly behind. The terms high or low indicated the enemy's position above or below, and even signified that the enemy was level with the pilot's plane. The show's portrayal of 8th United States Army Air Forces during World War II stands out, providing a genuine depiction of bomber commander's challenges. It features Robert Lansing and Paul Burke convincingly portraying these roles. The series seamlessly integrates authentic World War II footage, offering a realistic portrayal of the powerful 8th US AF bombers and fighters stationed in England. Beyond aerial action, the series delves into personal struggles, exploring the dilemmas faced by pilots and crews in the backdrop of war. Despite its merits, the show's untimely end is linked to declining public interest amidst the escalating Vietnam War. The missed opportunity to continue highlighting the pivotal role of pilots, crews, and planes in ending Nazi Germany's campaign is evident. Notable details within the series include Robert Dornan's authentic portrayal of Captain Robert Fowler, U.S. Air Force fighter pilot. Dornan's commitment extended beyond acting, as he continued service with the California Air National Guard while part of the series. Interestingly, his later political career earned him the moniker B-1 Bob, reflecting his staunch support for the Air Force's acquisition of the B-1 Lancer Heavy Bomber. A leadership shift from Keith Davenport to Frank Savage as the commander of the 918th remains unexplained in the series, leaving viewers to speculate on the dynamics behind this pivotal change. The attempt to secure sponsorship led to a surprising twist when Volkswagen executives recognized their wartime bombing footage during a pilot episode screening, leading to a withdrawal of sponsorship. In conclusion, 12 O'Clock High offers a nuanced perspective on wartime experiences, emphasizing the struggles, sacrifices, and triumphs of those involved in the war effort. The series serves as a reminder of the complexities inherent in armed conflict, prompting contemplation on the reasons behind wars. It remains a significant contribution to the portrayal of World War II aviation, showcasing the challenges faced by pilots and crews.